Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this really cute splatter effect in Photoshop. The first thing that I need to do is to cut our object from the background so we can easily move it or transform it or make it bigger or smaller or whatever we need to do. If you don't know how you can do that, you can check my tutorial for how to cut in Photoshop. I'm gonna link it up in the right corner. In that video you can see how you can cut using channel mask which is exactly what I'm doing for cutting this woman from the white background. We need a duplicate of our layer with our model so in it we're going to create the splatter effect itself. For that point I'm making the second layer a little bit bigger so the splatter effect can continue more. With two simple clicks I'm creating a mask on both of the layers so as you know from my previous tutorial with white is everything that we want to keep in the picture and with black is what we cut from the picture. At first the both mask will be white but you can easily convert it as you press Ctrl and I to invert the mask. Using the black and white colors on the two layers you can easily add or remove something. Don't forget black is out of the picture and white is in the picture. If you made it by this point, I would ask you to consider subscribing for my channel because this will mean so much for me. I'm posting every week and I hope that you can learn something new every week with me. happy with the result you can just save the image or continue until you get the result that you want and that's it actually that's a pretty easy but very effective effect <laughs> so you can use it for so many occasions and you can create so many beautiful things just try it and try until you have the result that you're happy with and try it on as much pictures as possible i'm gonna show you a few examples that i created with different kind of brushes That was a really fast tutorial but I hope it was useful for you and I hope you learned something new and I hope that you're going to use this effect in your own pictures. So thank you very much for your attention and if you like the video please share it with friends, like the video and of course if you want to, to see more tutorials from me subscribe for my channel because I'm posting every week. Thank you and bye.